Monday morning. It's nearly 20 past eight. Been a half decent weekend, not as good as last week. We've got nine orders on Bricklink that will be going out. We've got these slightly larger ones at the back. And smaller ones. I'll show you what's on them more when I've picked them. We've got two on Br Brick Owl. That's eBay stuff, they're non-Lego. That was a Series 13 Paleontologist minifigure. So they're done. So I've just got this, these to do. So I've got 11 orders here waiting to, to go. So I'm gonna get these picked and then I'll give you a look at them. We've also got 50 kilos of bulk coming in today. We should also have another delivery, but I don't know if it's coming today. We're expecting it possibly Friday or Saturday, so hopefully that'll turn up today. That's for another 25, 26 kilo. That was a, a Facebook purchase, the 50 kilos from a regular supplier. And then we'll uh, see what's happening and we'll go from there. So all the orders that said one are now picked. I'm just going to get these packaged up and add it away to give me a bit of space because this one's 700 and... 57 parts so i just want a bit more room for that one so what we've got we've got there's a brick owl one we've got buzz and woody minifigure another brick owl one and then the rest of Bricklink. so we got two figures on that one two ninjago figures on that one um tie fighter pilot new on that one minifigure parts Also, that's a really nice sale, £11.91. They actually, um, the delivery address for that is literally two minutes away from my house, but it's still going through the postal system because I don't want to mess about with trying to arrange delivery and then have any issues with them saying they've not received it. This one, mixture of parts and some printed tiles. Uh, uh, minifigure parts and printer tiles used, they're new and then we've got I can't remember what it's called should really know that uh, it's Rolf the dog that's how you say it, from the Muppets minifigures uh, a load of white legs and then some mainly pirate hats um, 100 tan masonry bricks and some tiles so like I said, just that one's picked, so I'm going to get these boxed and at least condensed into a smaller pile and then I've just got that one to pick and then it'll be postage labels. As you can see, they're all packed up, ready, they just need postage labels. So I've come to pick the last order and I've got one problem with it. As you can see, there's some nice large, there's 200 in there, um, 180 of them, 143 of them. And then some smaller quantities of stuff, 60 of them. Uh, but yeah, my issue is with these and one missing. I need 11 and I've only got 10. Because it's quite a common part, obviously a red 2x6 plate, I'm confident I'm going to find one. So I just need to have a rummage round in some sets that I've got hanging around and see if we can find it or try and work out where it might have gone instead of where it should be but i wanted to show you because you know mistakes do happen and it's the life of a lego seller on bricklink obviously i have no idea why it's happened but it has happened so i want to see if i can rectify it rather than saying i'm missing one i need to refund you eight pence for one part so i'll update you when i know more I felt lucky, I've found a set that there's five in and I've got three of the sets waiting to be parted out and the problem is they're in there and that doesn't fit so I've just got to move this, take one of these out and then I can get it got it, got, got all three out while I were there um, obviously if I'm going to open one up for some parts I may as well just get them parted out so Hopefully I can try and do that this week at some point. 
for the one in this bag as you can see right there so i'm going to take this out i'll take the bag back up and then i'll just put a little note in saying that these one times two by six red plate missing because i might not end up parting it out this week because there's always that much to do it could be sat there for months and by which time i'd forget so i need to put a note in so that i don't forget so that when i do upload it i can adjust it might seem a bit extreme doing this but these sets half a part out so it doesn't matter and it means i get to fulfill the order and the customer's happy i, I hate having to refund stuff for missing parts so i always try my hardest to find a part i've even in the past i was missing something the other week and i think it was a saturday when i realized so I found a set that it was in. It was in a little Speed Champion set. It was on offer on Amazon. So I ordered the set to get the part because the set came on the Sunday. So I got the part out and the order was still able to go out on time on Monday. So the customer was none, none the wiser of the situation. And then the rest of the set just got parted out. I just prefer trying to fulfill my orders and you know give the best customer service that I can. So... I'm going to get that out of there and do what I said. That's it, order fulfilled. Finally, so I just need a bit of bubble wrap on there and then tape the box up and postage labels. All done. I'm ready to go to the post office later today. I'm going to try and go as late as possible today because my post office at 5pm today is closing for 10 days because it's inside a, a local shop and... And they've basically extended it so the shop is all moving into the extension like the technically the, the next shop on and the post office is going with it so the post office will be shut for 10 days the shop isn't shutting it all they're just basically running all the stock down and then on the 28th it all reopens and then the existing shop and the post office will then be coming I'm led to believe an Indian takeaway and a vape shop eventually. So for 10 days I've got a bit of an issue. So obviously when the when they're just standard large letters, I'm happy to put them in post box. Um but when you've obviously got parcels, I think I'm gonna have to try the um collection from home where the postman collects them the following day, so they're gonna go out slower than I'd like. Because obviously, if I arranged collection for that today, he wouldn't come well tomorrow. Obviously, taking it to the post office, I can do it myself. There are other post offices a little bit further afield, but they're just not very reliable in terms of when they're open and stuff. So, it's going to be trial and error. I'm going to see how I go and see what happens. Hopefully, it will not be too much of an issue, but we'll see. Just as I move parcels out of my way, so that I've got space to get on with the stuff. Bonus order comes through. It's a good order. It's um, six pages that's printed out. Grand total of 522 items in 77 lots. So that's the first thing on the agenda. So it's now Wednesday morning. I've only got two orders this morning. That one. And that one. I didn't actually do any filming yesterday. Um, I, I don't know why, but I just didn't. So we had seven orders yesterday. We actually had five on Brick Owl and two on Bricklink, which is unusual to have more on Brick Owl than Bricklink. Monday afternoon, the 50 kilo got delivered that I'd previously mentioned. And yesterday morning, the other 25, 26 kilo got delivered. So I spent the majority of yesterday dealing with all that, the 25, 26 kilo has been dealt with and that's just gone into the basically the backlog for bulk there's no minifigures in that so that was a pretty quick process and then the 50 kilo i've done 30 kilo of it and i'm hoping to get the other 20 kilo done today that does have minifigures in it so found some decent stuff so far so i might show that once i've finished it all and then other than that i've just been working on used because my used backlog my sorted backlog that comes from a sorter um is getting ridiculous so i've been trying to get through some of that ready to be washed and then uploaded but 
there's just so much of it. It's such a time consuming process. So I'm not sure what else I can share with you at the minute. I've got my car's going into the garage in a bit, so I'm going to be out of action for an hour or two today. So I'll try and get some more video when I can. Nice bonus order just come through. Just about to do shipping labels for them two. And this one came through. So we'll get that one done and added to them. Something I forgot to mention is these modular police stations. Or my uh, my dog gate, as it's known. That's That was one I bought a long time ago for show stock. Um, it arrived badly damaged. So I was trying to sell it at shows. Um, can't really remember why I bought another one, but it was probably on offer. Anyway, I've been waiting to part them out, but I wanted at least one more. And John Lewis have put them on 20% sale today. Well, I've seen it today. I'm not sure when it started. So I've ordered another one. So that was down from 170 to 135, I think it was. So I'll have three of them to part out, even though it's due to retire. Um, I'm not bothered about saving them for and selling them in that way. But if they increase in value, it'll, you know, I'd have to hold them too long. And like I said, boxes knackered on that one. So I'm happy to part them out when the one comes. So I'd rather do more than three, but it is a big set. So I'll, I'll do three. I'd rather do three than two, put it that way. Right, my um, post office is shut for 10 days, as I've mentioned. So I've got my first dilemma today. So I've got. Something that obviously won't fit in a post box, so I'm going to try a different post office today rather than the the collection where the postman collects it because obviously he wouldn't collect that till tomorrow and I want it out today. So I'm going to try a different post office because there's one near where I've got to take my car and see how that goes. Um, and if it's shut, obviously I'll have to keep driving around to different post offices until I can get rid of it. Um, and if that is the case, then I'll revert to any future ones to collection from the postman. Um, but if it is open and it goes well, then hopefully we can take stuff there. But we'll see. It's now Thursday morning. Got three orders this morning. Nothing spectacular. That one on Bricklink. That one on Bricklink. That's nice to get rid of all of those tyres. And we've got a free pager on Brick Owl. Five hundred and thirty-six items. So that's it for the Lego orders. Then we've got a couple of eBay sales. We've got I mean it's Lego related obviously. PS4 game, Lego Hobbit, and then we've got some uh, some of the kids' books, adult diaries that have sold. So that's what I need to get rid of today. So it will mean another trip back to the post office, which went fine yesterday. They are open every day till half five, Monday to Friday, except for Thursday. Didn't explain that very well. Thursday, they only open till half two. They are open on a Saturday and a Sunday morning as well, till 12. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So obviously I'll have to get there before half two today because it is Thursday. But it's uh, it's good to know that they're reliable. There's three boxes of that 50 kilo that came in. Um, I've sorted all that now. They're just waiting to to go out into storage. These are what I've pulled out of them when I had a quick sift through. So that's all the minifigure stuff. So quite a nice big tub there. Hopefully I'll uh, be able to show you that a bit in a bit more detail. And then that's, you know, lots of 16 by 16 plates and 8 by 16 plates and some big wheels and um, some of this stuff and train bits. A few um, power functions in there as well. So hopefully if I get a chance I'll show you that in a bit more detail in a bit. 
Um, and then literally two minutes ago, I've just had an eBay lot that I ordered on the weekend. It was Sunday. It was a new listing. It was 30 kilo. Started off on an auction, but there was a buy it now price. It worked out about £3.80 a kilo. So there were only three photos that weren't the best, but I took a punt on it. So I've not opened it up yet. So that's something else I need to do at some point. So the orders are all done and postage labels done on them. So they're ready to go. So this is bits that I've pulled out of the 50 kilo. Obviously the minifigures are there. So as you can see, we've got some train bits and pieces. Only one piece of track. One train base. Some train wheels. A battery box. And we've got some uh, motors, a receiver. Some larger wheels couple of them um, they're from like the Fort oh, what's it called Fort Legrido set a couple of bags of new parts um, I pulled these out just because of how many there is loads of motorbikes I've got an idea for them uh, some of the old 8 by 16 fin bases and then the thick brick type one 16 by 16 the old fin base and then 16 by 32 nice big pile of 8 by 16 base plates loads in dark blueish grey some white blueish grey others oh, a couple more there as well actually um, some nice castle wall pieces not quite sure if that's like legit or not need to look that up uh, apart from a boat couple more castle wall pieces that because it's printed and that because it's dark brown i don't know if it's any value at all but i've just not seen one in dark brown before nice big pile of 16 by 16 plates again a lot in dark bluish gray a couple in white a couple in white bluish gray uh, a boat weight just a wing some bicycles a couple of wheelchairs here we've got brown saddle and cannon holder. That again, I've not seen it in that colour before. And then some printed pieces. That's actually printed, not a sticker. And then all them. So they were obviously um, a bit of a architecture collection in there. The only one that I could actually see that resembled any sort of set was the White House. But even then it was still not massively intact, not intact enough for me to think, right, I'm going to see if I can piece this together. Um, but yeah, there was definitely a lot of it there. So that's all the oddments that I pulled out of 50 kilo. So there's some decent value here, obviously with the motors, um, the base plates. I don't know if any of them are worth anything. If any of them are hard to get, I don't know. I've no idea. Not looked any of it up. So, but obviously, some bits, like I say, your motors, your bases, you know, you're going to get a decent bit of money for. Um, and then, like the bicycles, the wheelchairs. I might try them on eBay, like a bundle of three. Um, I don't, that wheel needs replacing on the white one couple of wheelchairs they could be paired up together and um, motorbikes similar sort of idea so yeah i just wanted to show that i'll try and show you minifigure stuff next actually i forgot these two 13 by 13 plates one in tan and one in bright green they need a clean like most of this stuff does um obviously they'll get hand washed or Again, a lot of this will get hand washed. Smaller stuff, i.e. bikes and that, I don't mind them going through a washing machine. But um, the bigger stuff will be hand washed. And obviously, I'm not going to put for them through a washing machine. So if they need a wipe, they'll have a wipe, etc. So this lot is all worth sort of 50p and under. Las Vegas about a pound but there's none currently listed in UK and then about two pound on that one last one that's all was actually nearly four pound but 
that's the only one that sold it last six months. But yeah, that's uh, probably about two pounds would be about right on that one. Right, so as you can now see, this is all the minifigure stuff. I was going to try and get it on tray there, which was a completely stupid idea, so <laughs> gave up on that idea. Um, got a few more printed tiles and animals. The um, Darth Vader, 20 years, that's worth a couple of pound. Um, dinosaur incomplete, but the uh, tiger is a decent find. That is uh, something to do with um, Hero Factory Lego. Dinosaur head there. Big Hulk complete. Big Hulk missing arm. It is only a standard plain arm that is missing. Um, I know he's worth around 30. Not check that one. Um, this is a good find. Got a second one of them as well in here. But it doesn't have the capes there still worth it for part and then yeah there's just you know there's quite a bit that's complete or at least looks complete um indiana jones there missing his head uh, his hat, hat sorry um, so there's a few that are just missing odd thing i know she has a skirt not legs quite a lot of ninjago um look like there roughly around about right it's complete Got Dick Grayson complete Mariner I think it's Mariner um another Harry Potter figure I don't know the name Ninjago so yeah there's uh, there's quite a bit of Ninjago Minecraft Creeper, Batman, there's quite a few um, castle figures as well, alright it's not got a headgear but there's plenty of headgears in here, there's quite a few of them, um, there's one there without legs, there's definitely more than that though, I'm just not seeing them, another castle figure, couple of that. I'm sure there's a second one somewhere. Yeah there is. It's there. So yeah there's all sorts mixed in, you know, CMFs, Chima, Ninjago, Castle, Star Wars, Superheroes, lots of droid parts. So yeah, um, plenty here for me to, to go at, it'll not happen anytime soon, but it'll uh, <clears throat> be a nice boost to everything when we actually deal with it. They're obviously 32 by 32, I don't know why I said 13 by 13. So I just wanted to correct my mistake so I don't look as stupid. So I'm just going to build some boxes because I've run out of small, uh, large letter boxes. And they were just living under here. And under here, I've just seen these. I need to get them sorted ASAP and get them up. Obviously, Halloween's come in. Um, we're. What we're 20, 20 summit today, 21st of September today, I think it is. Um, so obviously, Halloween's only just over a month away, yeah, 21st of September today. So, I've got a month where people might be looking to uh, buy them. It's a full sealed box. I did have two, I uploaded one ages ago, like well over a year ago. I'm not even sure what's left in stock, I'm sure there'll be some. The more desirable ones from memory have sold so that's definitely on the agenda soon 
It's now Friday morning. Um, quietness continues. So we've only got four orders in total. But this one on Bricklink. This one also on Bricklink. And again, on Bricklink, we've got nothing on Brick Owl. And then we've just got a packet of carrots going out on eBay. So yesterday, I finally finished clearing them. So that's now ready for upload at some point. And then I had a delivery from an eBay purchase. It was 30 kilo. It was a really basic listing. There was like three photos. Yeah, three photos, very little description of 30 kilos. Uh, and I took a gamble on it because it was so cheap. Um, that's the minifigures that were in it. There's nothing special. There's obviously some uh, non-Lego bits in there. I've just noticed this is uh, a jigsaw piece. Um, but there's a bit of Star Wars stuff. There's a uh, movable horse. So yeah, there's, there's all sorts of bits and bobs. But like I said, for the price I paid, and then there was there was a load of train track, um, straight curves, flexer, and the switcher tracks. There was train motor, sensor, remote, some a uh, couple of M motors, even some lights actually. Um, and then some other bits. So the other bits alone, not including them, just the bits that I pulled out, the tr train related stuff pays for the entire lot. And then you've got all that and what's left out of the 30 kilo. So it was a really good good purchase, that one. So that's gone away. The bulk side of it's gone away. Obviously, I've kept the uh, the good stuff, the train stuff, to be worked on. And the minifigures at some point as well. So I'm going to get these orders done. I've got a few hours doing non-Lego stuff today, so I'm not sure... I'll get any more videos but we'll see what happens it's now Saturday morning just uploading the vlog as the first one or number nine whatever you want to call it went out on Saturday I've just done the same again this week not rushing to get them out and it just makes life easier so that'll be up in a bit this is about the end of this vlog for this week I've got no plans to do anything specific the rest of today and tomorrow other than watching a bit of sport but in terms of lego i'm just going to try and do a bit of housekeeping shall we say i need to make some boxes for the large letters because they're down i've had a few orders come in but i'm not getting anything out today not we having to go to a different post office so that can all wait till monday so a bit of a general tidy up i hope and maybe get a set prepped ready for part out because obviously i'm struggling down here with these to get in these drawers because they're all those sets and just to tidy up because it's just it's just no good this so yeah i'm gonna leave it there so thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it if you're not already subscribed please do so because that helps the ch channel massively and we'll see you in the next one